Hey guys, Bobo Rail here, and today I've got the usual update video for Vigor Season 4, aka Update 4.0. This update brings a lot of new content as well as reworks to some existing gameplay mechanics. So let's jump right into it. Okay, so first up we have the new game mode called Elimination. This is a 5v5 one life gunfight where two teams of five with random but identical loadouts battle to the last man with a capture point after a certain amount of time. It works functionally identical to Call of Duty Gunfight, it just has five players instead of two. There can be up to nine rounds with the first team to five winning the overall game. This game mode has its own new map which has multiple sections and each section is its own smaller arena where the game mode will take place. So that's pretty much it for elimination, now let's get into some more new features. In the way of normal encounters, there are now three comm stations. Each one of them will have their own set of debuffs and buffs that can be given to the airdrop. What effect each comm station will give is up to the user. To buff it, you can give it more loot, no opening time, or make it so other players can't see its exact location. Or you can give it a debuff of a decoy crate, making the person carrying it slower or making them take radiation damage. But if you'd like, you could also just simply change the airdrop's location. Of course, we have a new battle pass, and its price has been dropped from $15 to $10, aka 950 crowns are now 650. Chris made a video covering all of the new cosmetics and rewards you get for completing this a few days ago, so that will be linked down below if you're interested. But in general, there are lots of new military-themed outfits, including gas masks and the German combat helmet. Also, in the battle pass as rewards are the new guns. We have the FAMAS, otherwise known as the Bugle. We have the M249 Saw. And then lastly, the UK VZ-59. The FAMAS performs as a very accurate assault rifle with semi, burst, and automatic, while the M249 acts as a light machine gun meaning you don't have to go prone to aim down sights with this. But it also has a lot of recoil to compensate, so watch out for that. The Uton VZ is an HMG, meaning you have to go prone to aim down sights with it, but it has tremendous stopping power at a two-shot kill. Now we can get into the new mementos. Similarly to the trolls, the new lighters have hints on them where they can spawn around each map. Just as last time, my group, VSL, is going to be working as a community to find these as soon as possible. If you're interested in joining the hunt for them, there's a link to our Discord down below where you can check it out. And now we get to what I think is one of the worst things in this update, and that is the new consumable. The mortar strike with unlimited range and the ability to penetrate walls and other hard surfaces has the potential to be very bad for the gameplay experience as you can just mortar strike an area and anything within that radius is going to die very quickly. Alongside that, there's another consumable called the Jammer, which blocks the use of signals detector temporarily, but to be honest, I think this is just going to be another rarely used item like the sniper glint and the transmitter. I can appreciate the work that the devs put into these items, but I feel like they need some serious reworks for them to really have any usability. There were also some minor UI changes and things like the sprite at the bottom right now displaying what gun you're using, and if you're interested in knowing all the little things like bug fixes and UI changes, then I'll leave the original patch notes in the description. But yeah, for the most part, this is a very positive update where along with all the new features, they've reworked gunplay to be more similar to what it was back in 3.2, meaning much more recoil across the board and a lot more skill to control it in each firefight. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you liked it, please leave a like. If you didn't, a dislike. My name's Bobo, and I'll catch you in the next one.